Okay. okay. No, that hurt. No. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to our channel. So today we decided to do a top five favorite workouts for him and for her. So what Madison did is she went through, picked out her five favorite workouts. I went through, I picked out my five favorite workouts. Uh, we both included full body routines, so you are getting uh, upper body, core, and leg exercises. Um, I think you're going to see that my routine is a little better. No, that's not even a little bit true. So just keep watching to see our five favorite workouts. And as always, make sure you consult a physician before you try any workouts. So the first workout that I picked um, is one that is really great for girls especially. Um, I think a lot of women want to work on their glutes and their hamstrings as well as their calves so this is a workout I really like and it does a lot of damage without like very much work basically so this is a dance workout um, a lot of you the term arabesque I'll insert a picture here you keep your back really straight as you extend your um, as you extend your leg to the back um, and this works your lower back as well as your glutes really, really well. I also did a version of this on Releve, which basically just means being on your tiptoes. So that works your calf muscles really well squats too. Is, squats is, a, I believe, a foundational piece as far as anybody's workout routine. Um, it's, you're going to fill it in your, um, pretty much all your legs. You're going to fill it in your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your glutes. So all upper leg. Um, it also does work your core. Um, you'll, you'll see a version below where it's showing air squats with no weight. Um, you're also going to see me using a cable machine to do a squat version with weight. And then you're also going to see me do a dumbbell squat. Um, the nice thing about the dumbbell squat is it actually involves your forearms too. You'll see that grip strength start to work and you've got to start using that lower back, making sure your chest is staying up correctly, um, not letting those dumbbells pull you, pull you down. So very good exercise. I love it. Okay, so the next one I picked is a staple, and th this is for your ab muscles. Uh, this one is killer for anyone who needs, like, a pick-me-up on their ab routine. Russian twists are amazing. Um, and basically, the twisting motion really just shreds your ab muscles. So if you ever see people who just have really cut abs, and you can just see all of their muscles, like like all the little nitty gritty ones, especially like across their rib cage, that is because of that twisting motion. So this works your obliques, it works your abs, it works everything. So, and there's a bunch of different variations of this. Um, the farther back you go, the more intense it's going to be for your entire abdominal, as opposed to if you have it like up closer, if you have like more of a V shape, um, you're gonna be working um, a little bit less. So if you need to like start there and work your way back. Um, so there's a lot you can do with um, the Russian twists and you can kind of go at your own pace um, and if it's too easy for you without weight you can always add a Swiss dumbbell to make it a little bit more intense I've even seen people do it with a um, like Swiss ball as opposed to like a medicine ball a medicine ball is going to be more weight to where you can involve your upper body a little bit more and a Swiss ball like you can just kind of gives you a lot more to balance with which works your core muscle even a little bit more it burns yeah, it does. It's, it's, this one's really, really intense. <laughs> so uh, for my ab exercise, I, I also chose just another foundational piece, um, one that you actually probably should be doing every day. Um, we're talking about planks. Uh, everybody can do them. Nobody, everybody hates them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, everybody hates a, planks. Yeah, nobody enjoys a plank, but they are awesome. Um, what you're doing, I mean, you'll see me in the video um, just on a level ground. Um, doing the plank and I'm doing a elbow uh, plank from the elbows. Uh, a, technically a full plank is just holding the top part of a push-up which is great it's involving more of your upper body. I focus this an elbow plank more on the ab muscles that's what we're going for in this one. Um, the other thing is is we're all about degressions here um, making sure people are able to do the exercise properly without getting hurt. A good way of doing that is setting your elbows up on an incline so that way you're pulling weight off of your, your upper body and then being able to keep your back and your hips aligned in a straight line and then that way doing the exercise properly. So my next workout is going to be reverse plank. Um, and this you may also find this under like bridge if you're looking at workouts on Pinterest. Um, this isn't quite a bridge. A bridge is when you're in a full like arch shape and you see those like dancers that go into a full back bend. That's what we more think of when we think of- More of a gymnast, gymnastics yeah. move. 
yeah, it's not like, yeah, that's more of a bridge. Um, this, but you might find a bridge workout like this might come up as well. Um, but I call, we call this a um, reverse plank. So basically, you are going to lay on your back and you are going to um, flex your um, pelvis and legs upward. And it doesn't seem like much at first, but once you get like even 10 of these in, you definitely start to feel it. You want to kind of get your um, pelvis and legs as flat as possible um, by doing that motion over and over again, you're really going to strengthen your glutes as well as your hamstrings. Um, another way that you can make this workout even harder is by going on one leg or um, so just raising one leg in the air and um, you can alternate on those and that makes this workout even tougher. Yeah. Big thing here is you drive your hips to the ceiling, you tighten those glutes as tight as you can and you hold on. The other way that you can is you can just hold it mm -hmm. just like you do a plank yeah. and you'll, you'll feel those glutes go on fire. Yeah. And that's one reason they call it a reverse plank is because you can't just hold that movement. It's almost like a backwards push up a little bit, but like not really, but it, it's, like, it's kind of like that. Drive with the hips. <laughs> so what I chose to do was a Superman exercise. It's just being Superman. <laughs> uh, what you're working in this is your ele electro. I don't know how to say it either. Erecta it's erector spinae. Spine. That's how you say it. <laughs> those tight little muscles on the lower back, that's what you're gonna feel fire in this exercise and it's, it's fantastic, you just gotta love it. I decided to do incline push-ups for my upper body workout and the reason I like incline push-ups as opposed to regular push-ups is I have a very difficult time being in form with a regular push-up a lot of times um, and I know for a lot of beginners that can be really, really challenging, making sure you're in the proper form and not um, working the wrong muscles trying to do a push-up. So your incline push-up is a really good way of releasing some of that weight off of you. Um, and you can do this against a wall, you know, a, a bench or the stairs. Your dresser. Your dresser. There's your lots, of, yeah, there's lots of things you can do um, to make Kitchen a push-up. <laughs> to make a push-up a little bit easier. So um, I use just a bench in my version of this. Um, and this allows you really to um, progress in your push-up so that eventually you can get to where you were doing it at a horizontal angle. So uh, for one of my upper body exercises, I did uh, choose pull-ups. Um, pull-ups are a tough one. Um, they're, they're one um, that should be in everybody's repertoire when it comes to workout movements, but because you're pulling up your full body weight, um, it's hard to get a lot of reps of these in. Um, so one, one strategy as far as degression on this exercise is um, if you can, if you ha have, happen to have a TheraBand, um, you can wrap that around the top of the bar and then slip your knee through it. What that TheraBand will do is it actually takes off some of your body weight, making the pull-up itself easier. Um, that's a good intro. The other way to do it is if you have an accountability partner helping you work out, stay on track. Um, when you go to do your pull-up, they hold the back of your legs um, in the back, your feet there, they just hold the bottom of them, they give you a little bit of a spot each time. Um, and that'll help take just a little bit of body weight off. But again, top five, it's definitely in there. Okay, and for my last workout, I decided to do one of my favorite, favorite workouts. This might be my tip-top favorite workout ever. I do this all the time. These are tricep dips, and they work your tricep muscles. So, this muscle right here. And I know a lot of women who, like, don't want to have bingo arms, which is where, like, the skin right here, like, sags, basically. Yeah, this... This workout is amazing and you literally can do it absolutely anywhere. I've seen people do this on the stairs. I've seen people do this in the subway. I've seen people do this at their house. Kitchen countertop. Bathtub, like you can do this literally anywhere. <laughs> like there's so many, like as long as you have like a solid surface here, I did it with a bench. Um, but this workout is fantastic. And basically you're just lowering your hips to the ground and pressing back up. Um, and that is just strengthening your tricep muscles. So for my last uh, upper body exercise, I did choose push-ups. Again, another foundational piece. This is one, I, a fundamental movement that uh, should just be in everybody's repertoire when it comes to working out. Um, there's many ways to accomplish this. Uh, Madison proved that earlier with her incline push-ups, which is fantastic. If you're not at a push-up level yet, I highly recommend that. Um, you can also do a push-up from the knees. What are you saying? Are you saying I'm not at a push-up level? One thing that you get to know about me is I tend to put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just that, kidding. Keep going. This, Tell them why. This girl can kick my butt any day. Any day. Okay, 
<laughs> but anyways, push-ups, primary movement, I mean, you're working your ab, but you're also primarily focused on your uh, pectoral muscles, and you're getting a little bit of the minor grip, the tricep muscles there. Bonus, Bonus exercises! exercises! because we just couldn't pick five. So I picked for my bonus exercise box jumps because I think these are so much fun. These are great for cardio and cardio is very key for anyone's health. Um, this is great for your heart and for your immune system and for your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, endorphins, the cardio boost your endorphin levels. <laughs> I absolutely love box jumps. I think these are a lot of fun. Again, you can pretty much do these anywhere. I've seen people do these on the stairs. So if you have stairs in your house, you can jump to like the third step. You can keep your weight forward if you're doing it on the stairs. Yeah, you're not keep it. You falling yeah, don't fall down the stairs. <laughs> but you can do it on the stairs. You can do it just on a chair. Um, there are a lot of different ways. As long as you have a solid surface to jump onto and a solid surface you're jumping from, you are set. So these are a great workout. So I chose a, a slightly different exercise. This is one I just recently learned uh, from one of my peers. Um, but what it is, is it's helping with your grip strength. Um, so working on just um, forearm muscles and being able to really hold on. Um, importance, um, we're in Colorado. <laughs> Rock climbing, duh. Uh, but also, um, I've been a big fan of Ninja Warrior, really been trying to improve my own grip strength. And so what you do is you just open a door, any doorway, and you, you hold on to it. And then you lean back with your body weight and you, you really just have to pinch that doorway. Um, you'll feel that fire all through your forearm. Great grip strength exercise. I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't like that one. It like really, really burns. It's yeah. just, but it's like really, really good for rock climbers, for anyone who's trying to work on their grip strength. We showed you earlier um, pull-ups, like that's a great workout to do to help if you're trying to um, increase the amount of pull-ups you can do because that is a lot of grip strength. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we've had a lot of fun making this workout video. Um, if you like what we're doing, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have uh, more videos like this coming out. And then also uh, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, if you like this video, please give us a huge thumbs up. And can you please stop whining? Sorry, our dogs are going crazy. Um, and please let us know like what other videos you guys want to see, and uh, let us know whose workout you like better, mine or his. And we're also going to be we're also going to be point, uh, putting more videos up like this, as well as some cooking tutorials. And we're also planning on doing um, some vlogs of our daily workouts. So if you guys are interested in that, please subscribe, keep watching, and thank you so much. Bye bye.